Howdy there. Um, I've had this uh, song on my heart for a long time, and I know I was supposed to have sung this um, Sunday. Um, I just, I was just not in a, not that I wasn't in a singing mood, but I just, I had to keep my hands and my feet busy. You know, sometimes I get so much on my mind that the worst thing is for me just to sit. And um, so, anyway, I'm here now. <laughs> and uh, being obedient now. Um, this song, um, it, it means a lot to me. Um, uh, it was, it's called It Is Well With My Soul. Um, and I didn't even know about this song till a few years ago. Um, or a couple years ago. Maybe a few years ago. Anyway. Um, but someone who was going through a lot, they, they had a, a young son that had cancer, and the mom held on to this song. And then I, you know, came across some of the background of it, and, you know, and it was written by a man who had lost um, his uh, business, his job, his, his home. He was a wealthy man in Chicago, and in the Great Fire of Chicago, he lost everything. And uh, I believe he lost a, a son as well. Um, but the part that I do remember well is um, he sent his his wife and his two daughters uh, to England. Um, they were going to start over there. Um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I always take rabbit tracks. Um, this is why it's not good for me to just sit and think. Um, but anyway, um, uh, he got a, a, a telegram or a wire back. And his wife told him, I alone survive. And um, when he, so he was going to England to um, to uh, try to comfort his grief, grieving wife. And at the part, uh, when he was crossing the ocean, the part where, um, the place where his two daughters uh, drowned, um, he wrote this song, It Is Well With My Soul. And, um, you know, Another part that I think about with this song is um, uh, Joyce Myers uh, talked about uh, she had a, a friend who his wife was dying of cancer and he just kept saying, I hope, Lord, help me do this well. You know, help me, help me, this, this trial, this trouble that's in front of me, help me do this well. Um, help me do it well so that I... Uh, respond in a way that uplifts and honors you and uh, right now I think the hardest thing with this COVID-19 is to have people that um, are hurting people that you care much about and you can't go to them and just hug them you know and comfort with them um, I had a, a lady at church a very dear friend who's been so supportive of me lost her and her husband lost their son, uh, members of our church. Um, another lady of our church um, lost her husband and her son. None of these were COVID-19 related. Um, I have a, um, a cousin whose 15-year-old son was just diagnosed with, uh, with leukemia, with cancer. And so please pray for... Um, Tyler, keep him in your prayers. Um, my pastor uh, actually got to come home today, uh, but he was in the hospital and really sick, and uh, no one could see him. I can't imagine having a loved one in the hospital right now, and you can't be there with him. I just, it, to feel this way about not being able to go to people who have had loss, and um, I can't imagine the, someone that I am that close to and not being able to go to the hospital. And uh, I had a very good friend who lost her mom today. Or not today, yesterday, but um, sometimes just a text, you know, even a card is just not enough. So anyway, this is, um, I don't know why God would want me to sing it and post it online believe me it's not something that I would normally do not something that I really want to do but he has his purposes and he has his reasons and it's interesting the way that people touch your life 
through some of the things that they, maybe they would not know that they are. And often when I sing in church, it starts this way. <laughs> but uh, I never sing to impress. I think about the words and I mean them with all my heart when I sing them. So anyway, I'm going to be obedient. And uh, please uh, remember um, those people who I've mentioned, most of my church family know who I'm talking about. But uh, remember my friend Tara and um, a young man by the name of Tyler who has cancer. God is big enough to heal. He's big enough to save. He's big enough to answer our every prayer, our every need. But there came a time in my Christian walk where I grew up enough to say, this is my need, this is my want, these are my desires. But even if you don't, you are my God and I, I am yours. And this is kind of what this song is saying. That even if he doesn't, I will yet that Job said, even if he slay me, yet shall I trust him. And uh, I have yet to find anything better, anyone better, to put all my hope and my trust in. And I've been through some things that he alone could lift me up. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to try to sing this. <laughs> um, uh, I don't normally look, we videotape at church, and I don't normally, I've not watched any of them because I thought I'd be too discouraged to get up and sing again. And um, so, But I've had to watch these because I've had to edit them. And uh, I don't know why I want to tell you this. It, it'll draw attention to it, but especially when I smile and talk, um, I know that my, um, it looks like I'm doing something weird with my mouth, but... It's because um, my jaw is unhinged. It's uh, not right. I it locks a lot. So if if you wonder what in the world, why does her mouth move that way? Um, that's why. Uh, so anyway, just another thought. <laughs> There's a billion going on in my head, but just one more. Okay, I'm gonna try this. So um, and I hope it blesses somebody out there. <clears throat> When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught. my 
There's one thing that um, I would love to, uh, I need to do this too. <laughs> I want to burn, uh, I like to um, burn, um, I don't know what you call it, gra uh, crafting, where you burn things into wood, you know. And I would like to write this one word to burn it into wood, nevertheless. Because Jesus said, when he grieved in the garden, nevertheless, thy will not mine. And because Jesus said, nevertheless, and went ahead with God's will, of God the Father's will, I too can say, nevertheless, that yet shall I praise him even in these times. I don't know why he wanted me to do this, but I am obedient. And I hope that it bless someone out there. And I hope that no matter what you're going through, you have the ability to say, it is well with my soul. And I believe that you can't do that unless your soul is secure covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. If it's not, I assure you, he wants you. No matter whatever you've done, no matter where you've been, no matter who you've hurt, he wants you. And I am living proof that any Christian who has ever turned away from God 